Today I'm inside the brand new Renault Rafale. I think this Renault, it's incredible. If you want to see the full review with it, check it out on the channel. Probably the video is already there. If it's not, will come soon. Incredible car. I can't wait to test drive it. But until then, in this video, I want to present you the new digital cockpit, the new multimedia system, and we will talk about all these features plus the head-up display. And first of all, of course, we will start with the head-up display. It's directly on the windshield. You can see it from this area. It's perfectly positioned in the front and it's also integrated, blended very nice in the windshield. And I like it. I like the way it looks. It's really welcome. The thing is, and the question is, do you really need that head-up display when you have those incredible screens right here? I love the way they design it. I love the fact that they tilt a little bit the multimedia screen to the driver so that's easy to adjust so basically it's so easy when you're having your seat in your driving position to move around here and to move and change different settings around plus you have a big big cockpit digital cockpit that shows you so many information and basically because you have this new steering wheel with this new design that looks lovely flat up flat down allow you to have a big big view in this area so you can see the screen quite nice and i like that very very much now guys you can adjust it from here basically from here you change the different driving modes you can see there on the left but here you can basically customize and change the view of the cockpit and probably this will be the new cockpit on almost all Renault cars that will come from now on. It's a great cockpit. I saw it also on the new Renault 5 and if I'm not wrong the new Scenic it's the same and basically uh, you can kind of customize what you like to see in the middle you can see the full google map as you know it has google integration not only google map in real time with traffic and all that information but also you have the same map as you have it on your phone on your android phone and this is great i mean you can customize it in so many ways you can see also the driving assistance systems and the car and what happened around the car uh, i can't wait to test it and take it on the road you can see it's simple like like that or you can change it and customize again to see the energy flow and so on and from here you can even go further and customize also the right side if you want to see it a uh, different view for example the energy flow you can see the distance you can see here the consumption you can see the water temperature when you have to do change the oil the service when you have to do the service fuel level permanent IGN and you can see it even more extended like that so those new changes and new looks I think they look fabulous also if you see in the corner there uh, because it's a full hybrid you can change the regenerating uh, level so from here from those pedals you can change how much energy to regenerate and it's it's crazy 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 nice really love it I think it's uh, the screen resolution and brightness and quality I think it's it's top it's super premium going to this screen it's a big screen basically it's like a laptop but it's like a tablet form and when it comes to responsiveness this is the google map it's the same as on the phone but trust me it's crazy responsive it's as responsive as an iphone look at this I mean, it's, it's crazy. One of the most responsive multimedia that you can get on the market these days are installed on the new Renault cars. Crazy, crazy fast. You have so many information here on the map. If you go closer, you can see, for example, the streets, you can see the hotels, you can see uh, hospitals, you can see parking lots, you can see even parks here. You can see even, I don't know, you can see the park uh, Alphons. And it gives you information it gives you stars the same infos as almost the same infos as you get on the on the phone on the google map and otherwise you see everything here uh, precise and let's see for example if you want to set the navigation up uh, you can go here for example destination and you can see how much time you do until there if it's traffic on the route and all that stuff you can see it also on the digital cockpit here it's so precise you can choose a different route if you don't like that and crazy the same as on the phone and here you have all other settings that you can change 3d buildings traffic 
all that stuff integrated here. You don't even need to connect your phone anymore, even though you can connect your phone, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay work wireless with this system. Down here, you have some information and shortcuts, Google Assist, voice Google Assist, that's fantastic. That means if you go to the steering wheel, to the, where, where was that? Voice command, it's here, you press it. I think you have to hold it a little bit or how it works. Navigate to Paris. Navigating to Paris. How cool is that? Or? Greater Paris low emission zone en route. Let's see. I want... How many degrees are outside today? In Grand Sacanex today, expect a high of 52 and a low of 38. That's fantastic. You don't have to hold it, you just press it short. Uh, if you hold it and you have your Android or Apple CarPlay connected, then we'll work with the phone, but otherwise you press it short. And you see here, you see traffic events and all that information on the route and construction sites and all that stuff. It's super interesting. Love it, man. Now, going down here, you have all the climatic settings uh, position it on those physical buttons. The funny and the cool part is that you can set it up super easy from down here. You don't have to use the touch screen. That's fantastic. The car come also hit its steering wheel, hit its seats, hit defrostable windshield. Super, super useful feature. On the upper side, you have some shortcuts that get you to the home page, for example. This is the media. Here you find all the media settings and also you can find the settings of the sound system because it has I think if I'm not wrong Harman Kardon yeah it has Harman Kardon speakers uh, optional amazing sound and you can choose how you like to hear inside and it's incredible how many options you have how many options you have to choose from you can go to sound to balance you can change the tone control the volume speed Crazy, crazy nice, a lot of settings here. Going to the next one, the phone, of course, you can connect your phone, very simple. I will show you, I'll make a separate video on how to connect your, your phone to the car, wireless. And then you have the, the main page where, from my point of view, this is really important for the future because they have Google integration and it's acting like a tablet. Basically, you have a tablet in your car. Basically, you have like a computer, like a phone in your car. That means you can install from Play Store or kind of application that Renault have collaboration with. Amazon Music, you can see YouTube Music, uh, Vivaldi Browser, Spotify, I hope postcast from Google. In the future, I really hope we can see YouTube and all other super useful uh, application here. Incredible. Now, if you go forward to the car, those are the most important settings of the car and you can change the different driving modes from here. Every time you change the driving mode, it's changed also this beautiful, beautiful ambient light inside. That's also nice. If you go to personalize, if you can configure it here, you will see that you can configure it the engine, normal sport, echo, steering wheel, effort, and four control the rear wheel uh, steer and then live on board ambient light you can change of course the ambient light in whichever colors you want and you have it right here inside super nice super simple to use you can press ok once you set it then you go to light intensity of course brightness and climatic control going back here you have the electric part electric zone where you can see what happened with energy in real time because it's a full hybrid you have the engine electric motor and the battery so you can see while you're driving a nice graphic and here you have some extra settings like pedestrian warning and predictable hybrid you can activate this in the city this is super smart stuff 360 degrees camera the car come with this uh, system so you can see what happened around the car resolution on the cameras are pretty good also, you can see the side and you can see also the free dimensional view. So it's not as good as the one on Mercedes or BMW, but it's still pretty good. Now let's go back. We have the hands-free uh, parking assist, so you can park the car vertical, horizontal, or you can also take it out. I will test that as soon as I get the car. We have the seats here, massage on the seats and all the settings from the seats. you find it around here. Then we have the air quality. Here you find air purifier because it comes with that extra filter that 
filtrate little particles like PM 2.5. Then here you find all the safety features and echo and the way you drive and all that stuff, what happened with energy. Driver assistance systems here, you find all the safety features. You can turn them all on or you can personalize and you go to personalize every single safety settings from here. Uh, traction control, active brake as well. Uh, warning anticipation, you have it here. You have the comfort following distance, adaptive speed limiter and cruise control. All those safety features are activated from here, plus the parking sensors and the sound of the parking sensors, the volume, rear cross parking alert, and a lot, a lot of safety features that the car come with. You can uh, change it from there. We have dynamic chassis here. That means it shows you what happened with a car when you go off road and what position have the car in the traction and you can also activate the cameras from here uh, and also you can uh, activate the downhill assist and then we have the vehicle go to the vehicle we have all the safety settings not the safety but all the access settings of the doors welcome internal sound segments exterior light segment internal light function uh, it has some interesting thing welcome and driver light, it comes with matrix vision, the, the most advanced technology in terms of lighting from Renault. We will talk about that and I will do a video in the night time with it, so stay close. Then you have here the screen settings, the head-up display settings, the turn indicator volume. Uh, you can also edit some widgets here on the first page, on the down part, with kind of widgets you want to have it down there. So you can uh, add wherever widgets you want on the down part of the home page and if I go back to the settings here we have all the extra settings from Bluetooth location apps security system setting update upgrade settings because the car will do upgrades over the air that's great language unit storage because it acts like a tablet it has to have some storage in order to install all that application in the future so in general this is it guys i hope you definitely enjoy the video and you find it useful love the position of driving love the position of being here in this car very good quality incredible car can't wait to test drive it so stay close to see the test drive don't forget to like share subscribe and i guess i see you soon in the next one and by the way check it check this out check this roof out it has this new technology that it's cool right you can dim the, the windows. And I think in the future, this kind of technology should be used. I saw that on a Chinese car. This technology should be used also on these windows. So if you wanna stay in the, inside the car in privacy, not when you're driving, but when you're staying, press a button and you, you, you make all the windows like that. For example, you park the car and you don't want the thief look inside the car. You just activate this, boom, and all the windows are a blur and you don't see what is inside the car that would be fun anyway that was the video thank you for watching stay safe don't forget to like share subscribe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys